Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a very special stream. Earlier today, I did a three-hour video of me opening these new foam panels from Elgato. They're called the Wave panels. And starting the setup, I uh, didn't finish it because the hardware that they provide to do it is absolutely terrible. The screws are completely worthless and strip easily. So I had to find the different screws that I had in my house, and we tried different configurations, and we got it working. I currently have four panels up out of a ton. So what we're going to do is continue to put these up tonight. Um, and I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me while I do this. I do understand if some people will be like, oh, this isn't very interesting or whatever. Uh, I have to do it now. If I don't, I have no backdrop, basically. <laughs> so it makes sense to do it now, um, tonight, and get it done. What will happen is all the gameplay that was supposed to be today, including System Shock earlier today and tonight's Street Fighter stream, will now be tomorrow. All right? So I'm glad that I actually had an extra... Uh, an extra, uh, or the ability to do that, you know, that's nice that I would have the ability to do that. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for the washers. I have a coffee, I'm gonna chill with you guys, I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee, then we're gonna start putting it up again. Um, and what I need when we're done, I'm gonna have you guys help me figure out the configuration of like how to put the panels on the wall because they all look a little different and they're pretty neat. It's actually a nice system, it's just that the hardware is terrible that they gave you for it. I don't, I can't imagine why. They gave you such low quality hardware. Um, it's quite silly that they did, in my opinion. <clears throat> Here's some more washers. Because I need two washers per octa or hex hexagon. Two washers per hexagon. And I'm running low because three of the washers are shot. Um, because they got stuck onto screws that did not work because their hardware is crap and all stripped. Um, I have one, two, three, four, I have five. I have an odd number. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, because I had three. That's right. I'm going to have, basically, either I'm not going to be able to put them all up, or I'm going to have to put some of them up with only one washer or one screw. So I'm probably going to have to do that, like, maybe the highest ones. But, uh, my idea is I want to do four behind me, three below, three above, and then that's four, that's nine, and I actually have 16 panels. So maybe I could do another row of four, and then I could decide if I want to do two way up there, or maybe I want to do some even further down here under the lower row. The thing is, you guys will only see the ones from this ghost down. So you're going to see this row, this row, and if I do another row under, that's what you guys will see. You will not see any further. But as you can see, look how good it looks. You see how it picks up the light because of the design? The blue picks up the light beautifully. So I want to put a whole bunch of blue behind me you guys will always see whatever color light I'm running. Like, right now, this is purple, correct? Here's red. Oh, wait. Okay, here's blue. Ooh, blue really stands out. See that? Uh, green. Whoa! Holy crap, does green stand out on there? So, depending on the color I use... It stands, oh, yellow stands out really strong on there. See that? Ooh, icy blue stands out really well. So some some better than others for sure. But I would say the only one that doesn't really stand out is red. But all the rest do. All the rest are like bouncing off of there beautifully because of that. So it's going to look a lot better than it used to for sure. Um, Once we're done, okay? I need to start a bushcraft channel, bushcraft fill. That's bizarre. Very bizarre that you would suggest that. Okay. So, what do you guys want to chat about? We, let's chat for a little bit before... Uh, I, I got to finish my coffee here. Derek, good luck on your driving test tomorrow. I wish you the best. Hopefully you ace it. Dylan King presents asks, Do you find it ironic or full circle that your underdog story seems to be repeating itself from years ago? It seems everyone is backing you once again. Again, the weird thing about this is I haven't changed. I mean, I changed for the better years ago, correct? Like, it was like seven years ago that I changed. I said, I'm going to stop, you know, being the way I used to be. I'm going to become a better creator, a better person, make better content. And I feel like the last seven years, I've worked hard to do that. The fact that it took that long for people to recognize that and be interested in me again and want to associate with me and do stuff with me is weird to me. Um, but at the same time, people were so ingrained in this mentality that I was a bad person and I made bad content and then no one really checked me out. Now that people are checking me out, it seems that there is a turn for sure. Oh, 
Am I doing Friday Night Fights if I finish the setup? We're not going to... Guys, I have three down here, four up here, probably another three, and then maybe more down here. It's going to take a while, and then we got to set it up with the foam, however you guys think it looks nice. So I'm telling you right now, we're not going to get this done relatively quickly. This is going to take a while. Only if somehow I turbo through it, sure. If I turbo through it, then we can do some Street Fighter, but I'm not foreseeing that happening, okay? Plus, I have to open up all these boxes and everything and take more hardware out and build more. I have to build more of these, uh, these hexagons. I have a ton of stuff to do, so it probably we're not going to finish it fast. <clears throat> you know what you see? The, the, the setup, here's the thing. John Cool says, it looks like Elgato just has a bad setup. Is this going to be a nightmare if you have to move, move or remove it? It's just basic screws now. I'm good, and they're wood-boring screws, but I can remove them. And then we'll be okay. The problem was, here was the core problem. These screws. That they give you by default. Are ridiculously crappy low grade screws. I can't even grab one right now. They're low grade screws. I couldn't even get one of these screwed into my wall. Without stripping it. That's how crappy low grade these screws are. Why would you have a setup where you can have people use screws to put it into their wall, but you give them the worst quality screw? Everything else is fine. The washers are fine. These cool snap together hexagons are fine. I like them, actually. Once I started figuring out how to build them, I was like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. But why give you a crappy, why skimp out on the screw of all things, the thing that you need to hang it? And I guess what it is, is um, they're assuming a lot of people are just going to try to use these sticky tabs to hang them. Because you use two sticky tabs per frame, supposedly, to hang it. But it outright says it. It outright says you can only use that on a flat surface wall. No texture. My wall has texture and it has a glossy paint. So this doesn't work on my wall. I have to use the screws. You see? Here's the good news. Now, once this is in place, the hexes are in place. If I ever want to change the design... If, if Elgato ever sells other colors, they actually sell white, but the white was double price from this stuff because it was low stock. And I was like, we'll just get the ones that are blue and black for now. If I like it, maybe later on, I would order some white to, to change up the setup, right? So Darth Golbach, 19 months as a member, says, love your new honeycomb look. This looks way more modern. I agree. I think overall, it's going to sound better or just as good and it's going to look beautiful. So it's going to be worth the effort. It is. Exactly. Do you, did you really think that these little things, these sticky tab strips, are going to hold up these plastic hexagons with a foam thing hanging on it? I don't think so. You know, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. They're going to be too heavy. So, thank you, King Michael. He likes the haircut. Uh, Walk Warrior, I recommend you watch today's podcast. We talked about a ton. We talked about Kiwi Farm situation. We talked about an update on Mudahar. All kinds of stuff. You should check out the podcast. It's live right now. You'll get your answers, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to get started in a sec. So guys, here's the deal. This is going to be a 100% chill stream, interaction, talking back and forth, and me putting this this background up and getting your feedback on it once it's up. Once it's up, I will actually readjust the camera and everything so we'll get to see how it looks in a normal setting. And then we'll go from there. Any contributions tonight are greatly appreciated. I'm not going to be sitting here asking for anything because, you know, I'm going to be busy doing my backdrop. But, hey, if you guys support the stream, yes, please, and thank you. That would be amazing if you did, okay? <clears throat> Uh, two last names, 16 months as a member, says the poker chip is just as fun as the play button. Yes. The poker chip or the YouTube play button, which is more valuable? <laughs> which is more valuable, right? Good question. But here we go. Let's see here. Hellrider did a $10 super chat, says, I'm sorry about how overworked your wife is currently. Is she being forced to work weekends? I think it's wrong for retail employees to work on a Saturday. Um, she basically, here's the deal. All right. She's been in and out of different retail jobs for a million years. And she can never really find one that she wants to stay at because there's always issues, problems, all kinds of stuff you know, with the job, with the pay, with the hours. 
And so, yeah, right now she's at a job, and it's incredibly stressful on her. She's working a lot of hours. Her schedule is changing and fluctuating constantly, and it's annoying. And that's dumb. That jo A job doesn't take someone seriously and thinks that they can just kind of push you around and say, oh, you're going to work whenever we tell you. You don't have a life. I have to do things. Like I have to go to the doctor. I have to go to an another different appointment. I'd like to have a day off with my family. Oh, no, well, you're at a retail job. We just dictate what you do. That's not how it works. It's not how it works at all. But these jobs don't know or care that. They think that they're so important. They're not. So she's pretty frustrated right now. It is what it is. Um, she's resting right now, actually. She's home resting. So, okay. Um, I received a dollar tip to start the night off. So this is our first contribution of the night. Three Musketeers or Twix? Oh, man, that's a, good, that's a difficult question. I'd probably say I've eaten more Three Musketeers than Twix. I really like the flavor of the nougat and the chocolate. Um, but Twix is great. I love the cookie crunch and the caramel of the Twix. But I'm going to go on Three Musketeers. That's, what I, that's my pick. You'll probably disagree with me there and be angry with me. All right, let me get another sip or two, and then we will begin, okay? Okay. Stop playing games and support my wife already. Okay. Stop playing games and support my wife because when I sit here, I, I, I'm not actually making a living and, you know, paying for the mortgage and stuff like that. That's what you're saying? You're an idiot. You're a freaking idiot. Get the hell out of here. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I am a huge chocolate fan. Yes. Oh, Hellrider, thank you for that first super chat. Let's get you on the leaderboard too. This was an anonymous dollar tip and Hellrider on the leaderboard. Oops. Thank you, guys. Okay, so here's the deal. I gotta put. A, I have four hexagons to put up. I'm gonna put three underneath, and then I'm gonna build another stack of three up there. But I don't have enough hexagons. I have four, so I have to open my other boxes over there to get more of the hexagons and build enough because I need six just to do what I want to do, and I need the hardware too. So bear with me when I bring the box over here. I gotta open it up and take more stuff out, and then we're gonna work on that, right? <clears throat> New box. Another box of blue. Good evening, Stoic. Is I'm enjoying this relaxing stream. Hope you make progress. We will finish tonight for sure. I have the system down. It's working nicely. I know what I'm doing now. We will finish this tonight. It's just going to take a while, which is why I started like right away. I don't want to dilly dally here. John Cool says, fresh haircut and always the best shirts. Thank you for the compliments. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like my style. Now that I have a style, because I didn't have a style for 10 years, I just wore gaming shirts, right? Over 10 years. And then this year, I decided to start wearing other stuff. People really like it. So there you go. Put on background music. I What music would I put on that wouldn't get copy stricken? It's not possible, right? <laughs> it's just not possible. I also got a $2 tip. Hold on. Let me put this box down. Build more frames. I need at least uh, I have four here. I need two more frames, and I got to get the hardware. But let's see what this tip is. Where do I get my shirts? Just discount stores, places like um, you know, TJ Maxx, uh, Burlington. Um, what was the other place I got a bunch for? Oh, there's a local place called Plato's Closet. That some of this stuff secondhand. Some of it is actually unsold stuff from like department stores, so it goes on big discount. So. Have I ever thought about setting up hexagon LED light panels around the bare part of the wall under the YouTube play button? 
Not yet, or anything like that. The thing is, you see on camera, this, this part over here is never on camera. On camera, you can literally see here and here and maybe a little bit further down, and that's it. You don't see anything above this either. So anything I put above this tonight is solely for the purpose of sound cancellation. It's not going to be seen on camera, okay? My camera does not go this wide. This is only for tonight so you can see me working here, okay? So I know there's some nice things you can do. There's LED panels and things and stuff that you could put up, but I don't really have this, the, the space for it. I don't have a, a setup where I can have like a wide angle that looks good or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a little room here. It may look big. So this is not a big room. This is a very small room, okay? <laughs> it's basically just a small bedroom. Okay. All right. John asks again, he says, what are you using the phone for? Because your audio is clean. My reason the audio was very clean is because I had the phone. <laughs> Just to be honest, um, it's going to make it less echo and it's going to look nice. It's gonna, uh, the other phone that I had was I had for 10 years. It's old. It's dusty. It's good to spruce things up. I already got a better camera. Might as well get a better visual behind me, right? <clears throat> Play button won't go in the background. I'm telling you guys, I'm not going to have any room. It's going to be all this phone is going to be behind me. That's all you're going to see, okay? You're not going to have, have room for anything else. The only thing I could do is put the play button in my background, like put it on one of the sides here or something. I received another dollar tip. Hostess ding-dongs or ho-hos? Uh, let's see. A ding-dong or a ho-ho? Basing it off of flavor and not off of name? Actually, ding-dongs, because ding-dongs are bigger. You get more. And I actually feel like that's the flavor's better. The ho-ho breaks and falls apart. When you bite into it, it just goes... Because it's like the roll. The ding-dong is like two patties... Of cake with frosting in the middle. You can eat it like a little sandwich. That's better than the ho-ho. You bite it and go, it just explodes everywhere. It's disgusting. Absolutely revolting. Okay. So to show you guys, I'm going to build some more. Um, well, I need to build two more. And then we're going to start putting them up. So let's build two more. Two more of these hexes. Okay. And then we'll put some up. And then we'll, we'll, we'll alternate what we're doing here. So we're not just doing the same thing constantly. Let's build, whoa, let's build some hexes. I just kicked some. Kicked some by complete accident. Oops. Now that I know how to build these hexes, they're quite easy to build. But it was confusing because the instructions were poor. The instructions were like, oh, force it together like this. Like, that's not how you do it. You actually snap it from behind. You put this little tab into a little thing and it snaps and now you're done. But it didn't explain that at all. I had to watch the video off of YouTube to figure that out. The instructions are terrible. The instructions, get this, the instructions also insinuate that you could put a wall anchor into the wall, okay, like this, you know, uh, what do they call it, sheetrock wall, they insinuate you could just put a wall anchor into there with this, with the regular screw and with a screwdriver, that you don't need to drill a hole to put the anchor in, it's like, how would you do that exactly, the anchor isn't sharp, how is it going to make a hole, like what the hell are you talking about, so once again, another product where the instructions are a complete joke, they didn't bother actually making good instructions for it. Same thing happened to me when I was putting up my blackout blinds earlier in the week. The instructions didn't explain anything about how to actually put the screws properly into the, the bracket that held the big curtain bar. I had to figure it out on my own. <clears throat> no, see, someone said you need to put it on a stud. Uh, how many studs do you think are in the wall behind me? I have to make a giant network of hexagons to hang on that thing. How many studs exactly do you think I have? Because each one needs two screws. So, unless you think the whole wall is a stud, <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. There's one new hex, just like that. They all snap together. There's one new hex. I need one more, and then we're going to start putting more on the wall. Wow, Cerebral Parasite just gifted 10 memberships to the community. Congratulations to everyone who just got a gifted membership. You'll really, really enjoy the insane amount of emotes that I have on this channel for sure. And that also means you don't have to abide by the slow mode in the chat. You can talk as much as you like when you have a membership. So enjoy, everyone, and thank you so much to Cerebral Parasite, who has just helped the channel out quite 
uh, a lot. I appreciate that very much. I wonder how many people we'll have here tonight just for me doing this and hanging out with you guys. I wonder. I don't think it's going to be a lot. I think we probably would have got more for Street Fighter, but what are you going to do? Okay, I need three more pieces. Studs are usually about 16 inches apart. Oh, yeah? That's the problem. Like, I only have certain space behind me on camera. I have to use it. Like, the one here, the one that I have all the way to the to the right here is, is only not even, like, half a foot away from the wall. I'm not going to go all the way to the wall. So that's what I had to do to make it fit. I don't care. You know, studs, I can't be lining it with the studs. I don't have the space, you know? Go. I'm ready to start hanging. Actually, I gotta take the foam down because the foam is completely removable and interchangeable. And I'm the how I have it here, I'm probably not gonna have it like that. I think I might have all blue behind me because the blue picks up the color so well. As you can see, my light is showing so well on the blue, but you can't see it at all on the black. See that? Eventually I may get white panels, but they were too expensive. They were double the price of the other ones, and I didn't want uh the person who was donating to spend that much money. I mean, this alone was like a two hundred dollars setup. Like, can you imagine with the white? It would have been like three, four hundred dollars. I'm like, no, nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. It's, that's just crazy. I don't even know why the white's more expensive. It's exactly the same thing. So, does it make sense that it's more expensive? What's up, Jade? How are you tonight? Sorry, no Street Fighter tonight, Jade, because we're gonna finish this up, okay? But we're gonna do Street Fighter tomorrow night instead. And no, I don't think I have a stud finder in the house either. I don't think so. Okay, I have six frames. So now I need one, two, I have four. So I need way more uh, washers. I need to get tons more washers. Jade says it's cool. I'm loving this. You are? You're loving this? All right. All right. Oh, the PS5 box is not part of the, back, the, the setup. This is to prop up this painting, which is awesome. But the problem is it keeps falling as I do this. So I put the painting down, but now you can see the boxes in the way. Okay, so I need... If I have six, I need 12. I only have five here. There's four. Okay. Hope they gave me enough washers. I don't know. I feel like I'm short. Washers. Which really sucks because I don't think it's going to hold it up properly without the washer. Joel's random videos at a super chat. This has inspired me to clean up my office and gaming area. I live in a small unit. I know the feeling of not having a lot of room. Yeah, my place of business is not big, man. This is a, it's a, it's a cramped room. That's why I get so stuffy and everything in, in the summer here, and I gotta have the AC pumping. It's the air is just not great quality. <clears throat> no, we're not gonna uh, Marine X. I already know we have drywall anchors. They didn't really work. The hardware is crap, and the hardware that they gave me, uh, the screws are terrible. So I get them in the drywall anchor, but then they freaking strip on me. And it's just a nightmare. The hardware they gave me is not good. Or I hate in a nutshell. It's just, it's really bad. I'm using my own self-boring screws to put these up. That luckily I had from another project in my house. Because if I didn't have them, I don't know how I would do this, honestly. Alright, is that it? That's all? I'm out of washer, so I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have enough to hang eight. And then I should have enough. So I'm only have enough out of the, the like 14 that I have. Somehow I only have enough washers for like 10. And that's not good because the washers are what are holding my self boring screws in place. That's bizarre. So I three washers are my fault. Three washers are trashed. 
because I was trying to use their screws with these anchors to hang earlier, and it doesn't work. Their hardware sucks. So three of the washers are shot. They're done, and I can't use them. So for three of these panels, I was only going to use one washer, like one thing to hang it, and just have it connect to other things. Those would be the ones that are like off camera. Um, but it seems like I'm way low on washers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I open that other box, I should be able to hang 10. I, there's no more washers in here in any of these, what I can see. No. Oh. So, the, you know what that tells me? They shorted me on washers, too. So not only is the hardware that they gave me, the screw's terrible. They also shorted me on washers. For sure. For sure. Maybe I could do a combination of only using um, one screw and then put some of these sticky tabs on the back of some of them as a combination of effort to try to hang it. That's the only thing I can think of. But I'm going to have those be the ones off camera. I'm going to have those be the ones like way up there so that way if they fucking fall off, it doesn't. it's not a big deal. You know? <clears throat> okay. Well... Now that we got that... No, I don't have any washers or anything hanging around, not to my knowledge, in my house. No. I checked it. I didn't see anything. So thank you, Joel's random videos. Let's get you on the leaderboard, and then we're going to begin hanging. Okay? We're going to start hanging stuff again. So again, guys, if you do contribute, I promise you I will shout out your contribution. I will interact with you. Uh, I'm going to be doing work behind me. So please be patient. I'll get to it, I swear. But we need to get this stuff up first before we do that, okay? Um, okay, so first things first, I got to remove these panels. Not not the whole panel, but the foam because this foam is completely uh, removable. So we're going to remove them so that we can now build the network of, of a hexagon honeycombs up there, basically, okay? It's going to kind of look like a bee's honeycomb up on my wall. <clears throat> Yeah, so, You can see, it's a really cool system. Look how easy that was. And now you can always remove them and interchange them because their designs are different. They have different designs on the pattern here. See the pattern? And they're, they're different. Some have different patterns. You can like line them up differently. So you could totally uh, reverse everything. It's really neat how you can just like change it up. Or if they sell different colors, you could buy them eventually and put them up there. Right now, they only have blue, white, and black. So I got blue and black. But I want to get more. I do want to get more eventually. Okay. Um, I received a $5.26 tip. Uh, let's shout this out before I get, I get started here. It's been a while since Twitch. I want to thank you for making content and for hosting me in the past. Oh, you're welcome. I don't know who this is. I can't see your name because you didn't put your name in the body of the tip. But whoever this is, you're welcome. I used to actually host... A good amount of people over on Twitch. Anyone who really asked, and, you know, I made sure that they weren't some kind of, you know, <laughs> racist content maker or something. Uh, I usually would host, and I hosted quite a bit of people over there. <clears throat> so, uh, good to have you back, and welcome, and thank you for the biggest contribution so far tonight as we get started with my wall setup stream. Okay. I, okay, here's my hardware now. Here's what I'm using. Actual self-boring screws. These are much better than the crappy hardware they gave you. Okay? <laughs> exactly. Queen of Hearts says, not that those would ever actually rip or get dirty, but man, you could just replace them easily if anything did happen to one. Yeah. You just pop your pail right out, buy a new one, pop it right back on. This stuff is on the wall for good, you know, until you remove it. So, it's weird sealing my... I know you guys never see my ceiling or anything. Very different setup, right? All right. So... 
I'm going to do the bottom row first, then I'll do a, a row above, and then we'll figure out what else we want to do. So here's the bottom row, and so I need a screw, and now wait a minute, where did I put my screwdriver? My power drill's right there, uh-oh. My screwdriver is essential. It's how I'm starting this, but I need to find where I put it. I've misplaced the screwdriver. It's definitely in here. I never took it out of here, but I don't know where I left it. Here's my level that I didn't even use. Where is my screwdriver? Where did I put this? Hold on, I gotta do a screwdriver sweep. Let me uh, get up. Look around. Here it is. Hidden behind my setup. Haha. -ha. Okay. Ooh, more shout outs. Thank you to Cantor for a 10 pound super chat. I appreciate that, appreciate that Cantor. I use the wrong keyboard. I got two keyboards in front of me right now. And thank you. I got another tip. Hunting all games. Oh, is that was that you, Hunting All Games? So two tips for 526 from Hunting All Games tonight. Thank you very much, Hunting All Games, for the two tips. So that will get us up to $14 in tips so far tonight. Oopsie. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by and chilling with me tonight as we build my wall, as we're about to start doing again. All right. So, screwdriver, washer, screw. Lucky Gremlin, no gaming tonight. We got to finish this wall, and we will finish it because I know what I'm doing now. Okay? Rest assured, this wall will be done tonight. Okay, I got to do three. One right here, one right here, and one right here under the existing four. Okay? Cope, thank you for becoming a member. Cope, good evening and welcome to the stream. How are you? All right. Please, Lucky Gremlins, don't start complaining. Don't start, don't dampen the vibes tonight. We're having a good chill time tonight while I do this. Please do not start whining in the chat. I want a gameplay. I want a gameplay too. That's life. Gameplay will be tomorrow, okay? Okay, cool. Good to see. <laughs> Active. Let me be sure. Let me be sure the clips work before I put the bottom screw in. Okay. 
Yeah. These are the clips. These go between the panels to hold them in place so they don't like vibrate and shake out of place once they're in there. All right. Green Heart says, honestly, it's nice to have chill streams like this where it's an office setup or cleanup. Not many streamers actually show the background. Yeah, well, I did this a couple years ago. If you remember, we did the closet cleanup streams, which went really well. I did it twice and I cleaned out my closet completely. I, now I do the bottom. Perfect. I'm excited for the new Alien movie. I'm not, I have no plans to see the new Alien movie, so I'm going to be too excited for it. Finally, the damage on my wall right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, you can see it. See that line right there on the wall? That's from my old love seat. That's where the at the top of it used to be. And what, sometimes I would sit down and the love seat would hit the wall. And it just made a big damaging mark on my wall. That's now going to be covered by these panels. You won't see it anymore. So that's actually really good. It's going to clean up some of the ugliness of my wall damage from the years. So that's really neat. So we'll see. Let's let's get everything up and here on the wall, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the setup. He's asking, "Am I going to change my setup at all to make it more visible?" Let's let's work on this first, getting it up to begin with, and then we can worry about how to adjust the setup further if we need to. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Boy, am I glad I had these screws. I would have not been able to do this. I would have had to go to a hardware store and either get drywall screws or these self-boring screws to do this because the screws they gave you were complete crap. Complete crap. Turning out nicely. Gabriel. Gabriel the Blessed just did a super chat. The haircut is clean. Do I see a fade? Why is everyone saying this? <laughs> this is the same haircut I get every time. You're aware of this, right? I've been getting this haircut for like two straight years. Have a good night, Lucky Gremlin. Thank you. Jay says, watch out for the ghost. Oh, I will. He's right here. He's good. The ghost is good. He ain't going nowhere. He's good. <laughs> <clears throat> All right.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me get Gabriel on the leaderboard. Take a picture so I can post a before and after. Before and after of what? You've seen my, my before 5,000 times on screen for the last decade. The after will be what's on camera when I after. <laughs> right? Every day you'll see it after, probably for a decade, right? <laughs> bring the camera closer. Well, if I bring it closer, you will not be able to see when I do these rows up here. That's why it's zoomed out this way. Don't worry, I only have one more panel to do down here. And then we're going up here for three, three, and then we're going to go above it. We're going to do everything at the, up top, okay? I'm a beautiful dreamer. Oh. Yeah, yeah, eventually we were going to do these improvements, but admittedly, the fact that I got a new camera and a new PC, and then someone offered this all within like three weeks has accelerated everything. Like literally after this, the only improvement left will be to do the migration of PC from my old one to my wife's. After that, like everything's been fully upgraded, like every possible thing. So. <clears throat> You guys, I figured this would be interesting because you guys have never seen this before. You've never seen the room that I'm in at this angle. You've never seen the setup. You know, this, this is all behind the scenes stuff. It's pretty neat, I think. And we get to hang out. We get a late night hangout session while I do it, right? Now this is weird. How is this possible? The screw went all the way through the drywall, but it's not sticking. It's loose and won't stay put. How does that even make sense? It's a self-boring screw. There's no hole in the drywall. How is that possible? Hmm. I can try the one at the bottom. If the bottom one works, we're okay. I can also put sticky things behind it. It's not stripped. It's a self-boring screw. It can't be stripped. No, these are self-boring screws. They don't need anchors. I literally just use self-boring screws in every other honeycomb and it worked. This one, it didn't. I have no clue what just happened. I did it exactly the same as all the others, and this one didn't work. And I'm very confused at that. Yeah. Hold on one second. So I wanted to be sure 
It wasn't like an extra thin wall or whatever, and it went through to the other side. No, it didn't. The other side's my bathroom. There's nothing there. So, I have no idea what just happened. I, gr I drilled a previous hole from an owner. I mean, that would be insanely bad luck, would it not? Because that's where it's got to be. I can't put that anywhere else. That honeycomb. It has to fit this grid now. I mean, that's nuts if that's the case. Not going in. Oops. Well, I'm going to, it's not doing anything. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to try to put it in a different spot. Yeah, I know there's a cavity in the wall. It's just weird that this one went through and the others didn't. None of the other screws went through like this. This one did. It's very weird. So I think I'm gonna pull this out with the with the oh fuck. I put brought my uh I brought my my hammer downstairs. I'm gonna have to go get it because I think I want to pull this out of the drywall. And I'll use one of you're only supposed to mount it from the top, but I'm gonna try mounting it from an angle and then the bottom rather than the top. It's better than nothing. Plus it'll be hooked together by the clip, so I think it'll support it fine. I just got to go get my, my hammer and pull this out of the drywall now. What a pain in the ass. Ugh. So, this sucks. It's going to be a pain because it's a self-boring screw. And I got to use this to pull it out of the wall. But And there's going to be a hole in my wall, but it's going to be covered by these anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, it was easy. <laughs> it was incredibly easy. Okay. All right, well. It was actually incredibly easy. It popped right out. So now I'm just going to try one of the diff... Oh, I tried reverse screwing. It was it was popping out of the wall loose. It wasn't... It didn't have hold anymore. So I'm going to try it. And when, instead of the top one, I'm going to try an angled one. And do if I angled in bottom, that should be enough to hold it in place. So we're going to do that. Okay.
That one worked. So now I'll do the bottom and then I'll use the clips and it should be fine. We have clips. Cypress TV, we have clips that hold them together so it should work. Because Cypress is saying do angle to angle opposite. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You say do here. Good suggestion. And then the clips will hold it in place. Good suggestion. Gotcha. Oh, I hit the stud. That didn't work. I hit the stud, it won't work. Can't, can't do that. It's in the stud and it, it's stuck. I got to put it on the bottom. I'm getting really bad luck. In one place, there's the stud. I can't get through it. And in the other place, it's empty wall, and it's, there's not enough to hold it. So either way, no matter where I put it, it's not working on this one panel. Uh, I can't figure out how to do this one. Besides, maybe you're just relying on the one, the one screw and clips. This will have three clips to hold it in place to others that are secure. So maybe the one screw and three clips will be enough to hold this one. I hope. It might always be loose. And there's nothing I can really do about it. It just seems like I'm screwed on that one. It's just no good places for screws in the wall right there. For some reason. Yeah. Thank you for that. Why? Susha116. Let's get you on the leaderboard for that super chat. I forgot to put you up there. Yeah, I can't get it to go into the stud. I'm trying, and it just, it's stuck. Like, it goes almost all the way, and then it sticks, and it won't drill in any further. All I can try to do is go, like, extreme power, but it ain't gonna work. Watch, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> It hits the stud and it won't go any further. I got to take it out. Sucks. Oh. Stud, this is a whole thing. All I can do is flip this. Flips it and that's enough. Oh, hope so. I'm going to put some sticky tabs on this one and hope that they work, right? 
Yeah, this is the sticky tab, huh? Oh, it's pretty sticky. I'm going to put three sticky tabs on this thing. These are the ones that they came with. I don't know if they're any good. Probably not. Considering the hardware they gave me was crap, I can't imagine the sticky tabs are good. What really sucks is this means I'm going to have the same problem going up the wall, right? With the ones above it. So, that one right there, and then if I go higher up to the ceiling, that one right there is going to have the same issue. The good news is, all the other ones are fine. So, I know the rest of the grid, I'm not going to have problems. Just that one spot going up the wall, will I have any problems? Putting the clips in between the honeycombs or the hexagons. You're supposed to hold them in place even better. I also think they cheaped me on the clips. I don't think I have enough. Because I'm using them, and I just use the whole bag. Here's another bag. Got more there. Okay, I might have enough. I might have enough. Okay. <laughs> done. All right. So, that's good. Now I'm going to put the three above. And then we're going to see how much hardware I have left because so I need one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it there. 
I definitely think they cheated me on uh on on washers. So when I get to the top, like I said, I think I'm only gonna be able to put one washer on each thing. I might have to use sticky tabs or something. But the screw is not gonna work without a sticky tab. Or excuse me, a screw's not gonna work without a washer, and I don't have enough. Okay. Read, read the the dead red guy. What do you mean? He's asking me, what do I think about people who spend a lot of money on games? What do you mean? What kind of a lot of money on games? Your, your question is way too general to make sense. You have to clarify what you mean by that. Okay. Next one. Oh no, don't tell me this one did it too, it did it! Damn it! Why did it do it? went through it. One didn't do it. One didn't do it. How can the drywall be fucking This is making absolutely no sense. This one, again, went through the drywall and is loose. The one directly below it, down here, this one, this didn't happen. It went through and got tight and stopped. This one, it went through the drywall and is now loose. How does that make any fucking sense? I don't even understand. I'm lost how that could be, how that could be happening. Because you know if it did it on top, it's going to do it on the bottom too. So now I'm going to have screws. I'm going to have to put sticky tabs too. I don't even know what else to fucking do. This is ridiculous at this point. That one went in nice. That one's nice. How does it make any sense? How does it make any sense? The screw on the top is loose because it went through and it doesn't feel like it's holding on to anything. But one on the bottom just went through and it's snug and tight and perfect. I, I don't even know how you explain that. Right? How is that explainable? <laughs> I'm not using anchors. I'm using self-boring screws that I have. We have drywall anchors. They don't work. They pop right out of the wall. And the screws they give you to put into the drywall anchors are shitty screws that strip immediately, so it doesn't work. Okay? I give up. I'm just going to keep going. Seriously, I'm going to clip everything. I'm just going to keep going.
I'm not even going to pretend to understand it. I'm just going to keep going. Back out the loose screw, push a drywall anchor in, and then put it in. It won't fit. The drywall anchor they gave me isn't deep enough for this screw. My screw is longer than the drywall anchor. My self-boring screw. So that won't work. It's a good idea, but it will never work. It'll just get stuck. I get, I get what, you're, what you're going for. I understand what you're saying. What you think is that it'll stick, but the... I'm not using the screws they gave me. The screws they gave me are trash, and they fall apart, and they, they strip. <clears throat> See, look. The anchor versus the screw, they're completely different. It wouldn't even fit. Look. The screw doesn't even fit in the anchor at all. See? Read, read the dead, the dead red guy says I'm clarifying. People say that you spend w money on WWE, even though you don't. I don't care what they say. Listen, if I spend zero dollars on WWE champions or I spend one million dollars on WWE champions, it's none of their fucking business. I can do whatever I want. I'll pull five thousand Hogan's tonight and bankrupt myself if I want. That's my business. Nobody else's. Seriously, they can go fuck themselves. I don't care what people say. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so I could. I could take that screw out and try to put this in the hole like you suggested and then put it the screw in, but I don't think it's going to work. I just don't think it's going to work. Okay? <clears throat> I might just leave it. I might just leave it and go here, go here, and hopefully those panels will help support the honeycomb and just leave it and it, it won't be a big deal, I don't think. I hope. I guess we'll see. Because I have no confidence that that's going to work, what you're saying. And right now, it's holding it. It's just not flush to the wall, but it's holding it. And if I have other ones that are flush to the wall, it should be okay. Right? So I'm going to keep going. <clears throat> Work on another one. How do I know that Hogan is in the game that's pretty sus? Because I play the game. I've already admitted it over and over over the years. People are just so fucking stupid they don't listen. I've said I play the game. <laughs> Here you go. Perfect, perfect, going. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about the bur the belch. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. 
Remember, guys, this is a chill stream. If you got questions to ask me that aren't stupid troll questions like that, idiot. But if you have real questions to ask me, throw them at me. I'll answer between putting the panels up. And also, uh, contributions are greatly appreciated. I'll shout them out. So thank you, guys. More clips to hold that in place. Oh. No. You thought I said eight? No, I have 16 of these. I have 16 of these. I don't know if I'm hanging all 16. I want to do four, three, three. And then I'm curious if I should do another couple on top, like two or three up there. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to do four, four, three, three, two, and then see how it looks. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I did have a coffee. I had it right here as I started, double M. One more there, and I want to. One more there that I want to see how it looks. But I might do another two on top. So be twelve, and I'll probably leave four out for now. I don't think I need to do sixteen. But then we have to arrange it and see how we want it to look. You know, what I'll do is I'll I'll bring the camera down to a different angle. We'll look at it together and try to figure out how to panel it out together. Okay. The foam could cover my whole wall, I think, because I have sixteen of them. So even if I do twelve, I do like thirteen, fourteen. I, it probably would cover the entirety of the wall. But I don't think I really need it all the way up there. I don't see how effective it would be on the up, way up there. You know what I mean? Did I buy the bracket separate from the foam? No, these come with it. This comes with it. This is all set. The foam comes with these hexagon brackets. It's actually a built-in set. Yeah. So no, you don't need to buy it separately or anything. Okay. To be honest, I don't think I have enough hardware to do it all. Like I said, I, to do all 16, I don't have enough hardware for it. I think I have just enough for 12. I don't think I have enough. Well, I probably have enough for 14, maybe. But I don't have enough for 16. So this one's going to be the pain. This is the one where down here, both holes went right through the wall and didn't secure. I only got one to stick. So this might be a pain up here, this upper right. We're going to have to find out and see if I can get it to work or not.
I have never heard of drywall that in some spots is thicker than another spot. But it seems like this drywall is like that because that one went in completely perfect all the way to the wall, snug, sweet, fine. But further down on the exact same drywall right here, it went through and wouldn't secure. I have no idea how that's even possible. This doesn't even make any logical sense, but it's where it is. I'm just not going to question it. I'm just going to keep going because I want to finish this tonight. Purple Pickle Yum Yum has re returned to the chat with a $2 super chat. <laughs> It says, everyone's favorite pickle, hashtag the return. Welcome to Purple Pickle Yum Yum. Back to the chat. Amazing. get some clips in and then we may able to do two more above and that'll be my setup it'll be this honeycomb setup can jasper are good they are relaxing downstairs uh food was just all right it was just hot dogs hot dogs and beans nothing special my wife my wife will make a nice dinner tomorrow because she's not working so it'll be much better okay Okay, so now I'm getting a more general question. What do I think about people who spend that much money on mobile games in general? People's money is their own to spend however they want. Now, you can judgmentally say something from an, a, a subjective standpoint and be like, well, I think that's stupid to spend that much money frivolously on a mobile game, right? And that's your right to criticize like that, if that's what you think, right? For me, all right, I'll be honest, in the past, I have spent a significant amount of money on mobile games before even the WWE Champions thing even existed. I used to play one called WWE Supercar, all right? That one, I have publicly admitted, I sunk a lot of time and money into like a dummy. And I regret it now because I look back and I'm like, it was a waste of time, a waste of money. I earned nothing. It was just because I was addicted to it, okay? Listen, if you get your endorphin rush from playing those games, if it gives you enjoyment, then you have a right to put money into whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And no one really has a, a, a right to, to criticize you. At the same time, is it pretty stupid spending that much money on an addictive game that really goes nowhere? Yeah, probably. But again, that's a subjective question, you know? <clears throat> okay. We'll do two more and then we'll call it quits on panels and then we'll we'll put the panels up and that'll be it, okay? Ooh. Here's more. I don't really like the hexagon pattern and you're guys you're going to see once the panels are up how nice they look in the light and everything, but we need to figure out um what designs to put up? I have more, way more blue than black. I have like 12 blue, but only uh, four black. We got to figure out how we want to put it up there. If, if we want any black on camera for my normal setup or not, because I think the blue is going to show the color off much better. Black won't show color at all. Um, when I'm talking about my backlighting, of course. And, uh, and also they have different designs on them. Each There's two different kinds of panels. So we can kind of mix and match that and try to make it look like a, a cool pattern or something. Right? What about someone who spends a lot of money on spirits? Again, it, it, as they say, pick your poison, right? What's your poison? Everyone has what's considered like a vice, whether it's mobile games, whether it's spending money on drugs, cigarettes, cigars, you know, fast cars, 
A lot of people stick a ton of money into a car for no good reason. It doesn't really do anything. You know, it's not going to make them a better person. not going to help them. They just want it as something, right? Everyone, pick your poison. Have your vice. As long as it doesn't overflow into your life and negatively affect other things, right? That's what it's all about. Purple Pickle Yum Yum. This is a brand new 4K camera, but I'm using it at uh 1080p full hd 60 frame per second quality that's what you're seeing right now 60 frames if you're if you're watching hd on youtube you're seeing 60 frames they don't do a christmas color scheme they only have blue white and uh black right now but like i said i wanted white but white was too expensive it was double price for some reason if the price of the white hexagons drops i might get some white hexagons and mix it in here So I got one more. I have to build one more, and then we'll have the two for the top, and then we'll we'll put them in there. That's as as low as I can go. I can't go any lower because this is where my light, uh, my power socket is. So I could not put one down there, even if I wanted to put it below. It would, the power socket's there, so that's the end of where I could go. Right? I agree. White would have reflected the color really well, but I I mean, think of it this way. I'm I'm almost positive. So a, a pack of these, it's six blue and two black, and all the brackets and everything was like. I want to say like 70, 70 something dollars. Okay. And I got two. The white was over a hundred dollars, I think, or like $90 just for the pack of white without the black. It was almost double probably. Like, why was it that expensive? I just didn't understand why they were trying to like price gouge the white. Did they think it looks better or something? I don't know. At the same time, I feel like eventually. Uh, they're going to have other colors, right? I feel like they would add more colors in time. Purple, pip, purple Pickle Yum Yum says, when's the next Feasting with the King? I have absolutely no idea. What will I do with the extra ones I don't use? For now, I'll save them. I'll put them in storage somewhere. Maybe eventually I'll find somewhere to put them. I now have 16 square feet of the, the soundproofing that was behind me before that I need to figure out what to do with that. I might reapply it somewhere else in my office. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure what I want to do with it. Maybe I'll put it on my back wall of my living room because my neighbors tend to be quite noisy during the day and maybe it would soundproof them and we wouldn't hear them through the phone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it works that way. I don't know. I don't think it's that kind of soundproofing phone, but... There we go. That is correct. Feasting with Phil was the woke Disney version of Feasting with the King. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Since we're now going with the whole King, King moniker again, it's just not the King of Hate. It's just the King now, more generalized. Perhaps we will bring back Feasting with the King, right? Maybe we'll call it what it really is. There you go. <clears throat> All right. All right, we got two there. And uh, so we're going to have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to have 12 panels. I have 12 blue and four black. So we have to figure out maybe we want to do a whole lot of blue and maybe just two black for variety in the panel structure. What we'll do is once I get these two up, we'll pan the camera down a bit so you guys can see it a little better. And then we'll try to go from there, okay? Let me get these two up. What do you mean I need three? I like two. One, two. There's no room for three. I'm not going to put one there. I'm going to have it be like, a, like almost like a pyramid going up. Three, four, three, two. That's how I'm going to do it. Purple Pickle Yum Yum did a super chat and said, if you're the king, can I be the pickle jester? You can be whatever you want. You're free to be whatever you want, man. That's the new world. You can do be whatever you want. You could be the world's giant flagellating eggplant. You could be uh, a clamshell Cadillac driving uh, crab. I don't know. You do whatever you want. I don't know what you're talking about. But well, let's go. Let's do this.
topic. And that's where being tall comes in handy. Because I didn't even have to get my step stool. I thought for sure I would need my step stool tonight. I don't need it. Yeah. Great. I did not need it. Sweet. Ah! Ah! I'm glad we're almost done because my hand is starting to kill me after all of this. All right. Two more clips and then one more panel and then we're done and we can put all the foam up. Hooey. Yes, it is good being tall, man. Almost, I'm almost, I'm like 5'11 in, in, in like a minuscule amount under six. So, six feet that is. So, hooey. It is satisfying feeling the click when those clips go in perfectly. It's like, ah, oh, it feels good. Like, yeah, click, click. I love that feeling. All right, two more to go and we're done. And then we can put the foam up. Two more screws, that is. <laughs> Do tall people also have long peepees? It, it depends on who's asking. Anyway, let's put this up. Uh. Last one.
<sighs> All right. What happened to your mug of the mug of coffees right here? Look, I drank it way earlier, over an hour ago. Long gone. Wait. Thank God I had all these self-tapping screws, or not self-tapping, um, self-boring screws. I think they're called self-tapping screws, actually. No pre-drilling, self-countersinking. That's what they are. Pre, uh, self-tapping, yes. Self-tapping, no pre-drilling, self-countersinking screws. Thank God I had them, dude. Thank God I had them. By the way... You guys are enjoying the chill session and be doing this tonight. Perhaps you would consider contributing in some way. I got to get Purple Pickle Yum Yum on the, on the leaderboard, I know. But outside of that, anything else, guys? As you can see, look at this. My goal is 50 bucks. We're at 14. It'll be great. We're going to have another hour of putting the foam up. It'd be great if you support the stream tonight. That would be very much appreciated if you're enjoying the chill vibes. I'm sorry we're doing this tonight instead of gameplay, but we're getting it out of the way. All right? Let me put this final panel up and then we will arrange it to I'll, I'll you know rearrange the camera we'll do this together okay Clips and we're good. Again, Purple Pickle Yum Yum with a super chat. My glorious name is Phil the Leaderboard. Three clips. That's all. That's all I got. I'm all clipped out. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot of work. It took forever, but I think it's going to be worth it. Okay. Cyber TV. So I used to like the blue shirt you have with all the DSP related text on it back when you used Teespring. Yes, that was called the graffiti design. And I loved it. That was one of my favorite designs of shirts that I had for fans. For sure. It was really nice. I agree with you. Miss those days. Maybe, maybe one day I'll be able to have merch again. Now that I'm becoming popular again and people are liking me. And want to do stuff with me. And I'm not like, you know, the whipping boy of the internet. That's good. All right. So. Let's close up everything here. And get everything out of the way. Everything will be, you know. To the side. Here's my two remaining washers. this down here okay so okay camera i should have go up a little bit <laughs> the camera is being dumb and it's auto focusing, so I have to tell it not to or auto, you know, trying to get the angle. So give me, let me fix this by doing it manually. I have no clue why the camera does this from time to time. It just decides to do whatever it wants. It doesn't really listen to me. What the hell? You know what I mean? 
Okay. The camera's all screwed up. It's like bent backwards, and I don't know why. It's being really weird and stupid. See, it won't go any further down. It's like bent backwards. I've never seen it done that do that before. I hope it's not broken. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Okay. That's better. I think it has this weird thing that can clip on stuff, and so it was confused and thought I wanted it to clip. I obviously did not. Whoa! Those are my shoe, my feet. My bare feet. We don't want that. Hold on. Now, oh, there we go. Okay, go up, up, up. See, it's confused. It doesn't know what it's doing. All right, here we are. Nope, stop! <laughs> stop! As you can see, okay, now it's not in the right position yet, but basically, when I'm sitting here, all you're going to see, it's not close enough yet, all you're going to see is right from here, you see? In fact, I can simulate that right now, ready? Come on. So this is kind of simulated of how it looks when I'm sitting here. Okay, so what you're going to see behind me on a normal stream is what you see here. You're going to see the four behind my head, and you're going to see the three here. That's what you're going to see, okay? Not down here. You'll, see, you'll still see color below me, all right? But you're going to see all that paneling, and you're going to see above. So almost the whole wall will be paneling now, all right? So this is what it's going to look like for a normal stream. All right, keep in mind, this is in the wrong spot because we have to be in room to put the paneling in. That'll be further behind me there, right? Um, I'm glad you're, you enjoyed the takes, Walk Warrior. Let me get Purple Pickle Yum Yum on the leaderboard. He did another super chat. He says, feet, it's good. It's time to start Phil's OnlyFans page. <laughs> Ew. With my feet, that'd be a really disgusting OnlyFans page. Just saying, right? Purple Pickle Yum Yum. There you go. That'd be a pretty disgusting one. So, this is what it'll look like when I'm actually broadcasting and doing a podcast or whatever. I actually need to bring the camera closer to me because I've zoomed in, so it lost a little bit of quality. But, you know, this is, but for our intents and purposes, we got to zoom out because I have to put all the panels here. And we have to look at the designs and stuff that I have, and we have to figure out what we want to do. Okay, so let's zoom all the way out. Okay. And let's go zoom a little up so we can see the two top panels as well. See that? Okay, so this is what I got. That's my wall now. All right? So what we want to do, we want to put the paneling in now. All right? We're going to put all the paneling in. And uh, see, I think this line should be blue. The whole line here behind my head should be blue because those panels reflect the best, like the color reflects the best. Maybe just the panel right behind my head should be black? I don't know. Here, let's pull it out. So I, have, I have two, well, we have all these different ones. We'll pull them out. So, there's two different designs, this and this. See how they're slightly different? One is a little thicker, and it's even, and the other one isn't as, th it has that thinner line running through it. And I'm wondering, what design should I use? If you do it like this, it kind of looks like a cube behind you, right? And I wonder if that would pick up the light better, because I could also do it sideways, but I wonder what would pick the light up better, you know? I wonder. Yeah, I think the black should be used off camera or behind me or to the side. You know what I mean? I think the blue is going to catch the color much better from the camera. So let's mess with this a little bit. I need all of your feedback. I want you guys to tell me what you think. All right. So this line right here is what you're going to see the most. And then this line right here, these two lines 
are going to be my head level. The others you'll never see on camera, so it doesn't even matter what's up there. Okay? So let's take a look. Um, How does that look? Looks pretty good, huh? Looks sick. I know. It's going to look good when we have the whole thing behind me, a whole grid. It's going to look really good, I think. Right? Let's keep going. Well, that does match. Okay. What about this? Oh, these are identical. These are the same. I have others too. Matches too. Oh, wow, it's looking, it's looking really good. It looks like a sick wall behind me. So we should keep going with the blue behind me, right? Everyone agree that the blue is looking good? So we should keep with the blue behind me and then maybe do the black above or whatever? Should it be all blue paneling behind me? I have two more here, but then I have to take the others out of this box. Yes, blue. You think the blue is really picking up the color nicely, right? I think it is. I think it's picking up the color really nicely. So we'll do three blue below me. And then we'll zoom to see how it looks and try to figure out what we want to do for the rest. Okay? Yes. Okay. As you can see, it all fits. It all fits into a design. See that? It fits perfectly. It's this cool design, right? All right, let's keep going. White, I don't have. The white was too expensive, but I may get white in the future. I got this one, but I can get the other design too because I'm trying to figure out. Aha, that's it right there.
Look at that. Wow. That looks great. Look at that, man. That's next next level shit right there, dude. That is next level shit. All right, let me get the rest of the blue out. And we get the black out. You know, we'll figure this out. But, uh, dude, this looks so good, right? It looks really good. <laughs> crispy, exactly. Nice and crispy. I agree. This one's giving me this one's giving me a hard time lining it up. Should I continue with the blue for the entire bottom two rows? This one's going to kind of be off camera. If you'd like me to show you, now I can move this stuff back to show you how it's really going to look. So let me do that. The lamp probably got rotated, so I'll fix the positioning of it. And... This is how it's actually going to look behind me. Let's go to the actual real angle of what it's going to be at when I'm on my show. Because look, this whole panel to the left, which is what I thought, it's off camera. That panel... Well, it will be. I could put blue there, and then it'll be a full blue backdrop. Or I could just go with black for one off of a black panel. Or I could just use the black for the top. You know, either or. Let's, uh, here, let's zoom in. Let's do the right angle for this. About right. It's slightly off, I think, with the pan. 
Oops. It'll be like this. Okay. Right now, my the camera's being blocked by the microphone because it's in the wrong spot. Okay, but... Roughly, this is what the show will look like now. With the bl cool blue background. And let's let's look at different colors, okay? De definitely, I, we got to put the panel there. You want to just put it there, put the blue there? Let's do that now. So, now, here's the question. You can see these two panels. Do we want to make them black? Or do we want them to be blue as well? Uh, three panels. You can see all three panels, okay? I have three blue remaining. All right? So, we could do all, the whole backdrop blue. All you'll see behind me is blue. All right? Or we could alternate and put black up there. Which we could I'll open that box. We have, we have four black panels, so I could put three black up top, and that would make the top black. So you'd see the blue and then the black. Want to try with the black? People say try with the black. All right, let's try that. Let's try it with the black. See what it looks like with the black up there. We can alternate between the black and the blue and see which looks better up up top for those three. Okay. <clears throat> Here, allow me to pan up the camera so you can see how it looks as I put it up there. Here we go. As you can see, you just cannot see light on the black at all. They just look like pure black. They do have a texture to them, see? But you can't see it in the light. It doesn't show up. It only shows up on the blue. Not this one. Other. That one does not fit. Thank you, Spencer Howard, for a uh, gifted membership. Another gifted membership. Spencer Howard's here gifting a bunch of memberships. Congrats to anyone who gets them. Thank you, Spencer, for supporting the channel. 
I need to open the final box to get the, the extra black, and then we'll line them up there. I knew this would take all night, but I knew it would pay off. As you can see, it looks amazing, right? It's starting to look really good now. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for hanging out with me while I did this, guys. Spencer did a super chat. He says, sound quality is already noticeably better. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> uh, personally, I thought my last sound for phone was fine. But this is going to look so much better. It's going to definitely add to the whole setup, you know. Wait, what? Are you kidding? I think they forgot the hardware in this final set. It's a good thing I don't need it, but I don't see hardware. No way they forgot hardware in my box. So if I wanted to hang all 16, I can't even hang all 16. They didn't give me hardware. Yeah, they screwed me over. Yeah, it's not in here. No hardware in the final box. Exactly. Felted. <laughs> Damn, I got felted. It's a good thing that I didn't need it. I'd be pretty pissed if I need a hardware right now. I open it up. There's nothing in the box. Yeah, look, I'm not kidding. and I'm not exaggerating. It's just not in there. Nope. They skimped. They didn't put it in there. Some dunce who works for the company. Yeah. Oh. oh, here it is. It was hidden. I take it back. It was right here. It's hidden. It is there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. It was there. I retract my dunce statement. It was no dunce. That works for the company. The dunce is actually... Me, DSP. Okay. I'm the dunce. Hold on. No way to get that to fit, but what if I use this one over here?
So, I don't have two black left. So I'm just going to put two blue on top. Which I think will look pretty cool. Oops. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Here we go. I'll put two blue on top, and that'll, uh... That'll do it. Let's do it. Let's put the two blue up there, and we're done. I love it too, Jade. It looks amazing, right? Yeah, Stormfront Games is, wow, looking good. I, it's, it looks so good. It all lines up. Look at that. That's cool, man. It all lines up. All right. So, let me zoom all the way out so you guys can see it. In all of its glory. After a day, a literal whole day of work to get this set up. There you go. Look at that. It took all day, but we got it done, guys. <clears throat> There's a copycat okie dokie. Is that true? Hold on. This one was made April 23rd. What about the other one? That's the fake. Okay, got it. I got the fake. Thanks for telling me. The fake should be gone now. Stupid idiot. Wait for a night when I'm busy, right? I'm busy with this stuff. <laughs> so let's get Spencer. I think the blue would look better than black in the second row. Uh, oh, you want all blue? Like, no black at all? You just want all blue? We could do all blue. If people want all blue, we have enough to do all blue. I have just enough to do all blue, actually. <clears throat> so, hold on. Let me uh, let me get Spencer on the leaderboard, because Spencer did a super chat earlier. And Spencer also gifted memberships. Thank you, Spencer, for that. Some people want all blue. Some people want the black. Some people like the mix. It's a split. Thank you, Spencer. All blue would be good for designs on them. You can't see them on the black. You're right. It's, it's dark. You can only see the designs on the blue. And by the way, so now that it's all in place, let's test the lighting. Ready? In, with red, I don't think anything shows up in red. You can't really see the designs with red. It's very, it's not very noticeable with red. Okay, but now let's try other colors. Let's try orange. A little more yellow. Whoa, yellow pops. Yellow actually stands out really good on that, right? Like you can really see that background now. It really pops. Green. Same thing. 
green really, really shows up nicely on there, right? This is uh, Seafoam. It looks almost the same as green. Icy Blue. Ooh. Now, Icy Blue really lights up the blue. It makes it look, like, very luminous, right? Okay. This is Dark Blue. And I'll be honest, Dark Blue doesn't actually show as well because it's dark blue on dark blue, so it's hard to see the dark blue light. You can almost see some of the dark blue on the black. Almost. You see that? All right. And then we have, this is kind of blue-purple. This is what I was already using. And now pure purple. So all of them show up. The only one's red. Can't really see it. Orange. Can't really see it. That's it. All the other ones pop. Every other color is just, like, bursting off of the thing. See? It's amazing in that regard. Keep in mind, again, the camera is not going to be looking like this. This is... I'm gonna, let's go to the real... You know what? Let me zoom into the real camera now. And then you make... We'll make the decision if we want to keep the, the black or if we want to change it. I need to move these boxes and shit on the floor so I get the tripod close again. Okay? So, hold on. No, I don't want to put black behind me. Then you can, Then my hair will blend in with the wall. And you won't be able to see my head like you want my head to stand out. That's the point. That's why you want a different color behind me but black. That's why I wanted to change the backdrop to begin with. Because I was blending in with the backdrop with this new, this new camera. Okay? All right. So. Yeah, I do have. I do have enough blue if we want to go all blue, I believe. I think I have one here. And two here. We do have enough blue to go all blue. But let me let me move the camera. trying to do because i had the lighting on super extra bright and i wanted to adjust the lighting back down i think this is what it was at okay hold on um back to the webcam people are going to be blown away tomorrow who didn't watch any of this they're going to come to the stream and be like what the hell happened <laughs> i'm like what is that okay Okay, that's it. So this is the real setup now. This is what it will look like, okay? This is it. This is the new setup. So again, show you the different color, because now we're at the right angle and the right view and no, you know, no, no zoom or anything, right? So this is what I was on earlier. This is the purple that I was on all day. There's true purple, still pops, right? There's a deep blue. Icy blue, green. Actually, that was sea foam. This is green. Yellow. They all look good. But then orange and red, they don't stand out. So only orange and red will be the ones that don't really stand out, right? Everything else looks good, right? The black, you guys like, let's go to the one where you can actually see it. Here you go. You guys like having the band of black at the top to break it up? Because we have three blue, and we can put three blue there, and we can continue that pattern there. 
and you could see it. Or we could just leave the three black at the top. What's the vote for? <clears throat> the black makes the, the blue, like a big blue crown on my head. What? <laughs> what? Try all blue. You want me to try all blue? Just to, to, we'll alternate. All right. Keep in mind what this looks like with the black, okay? Let's swap out to all blue. We'll compare. All right. We're literally doing every configuration. Orange and red for horror games. Yeah, orange and red, the background won't pop, and it'll be creepier. It looks like I'm in a darker room, right? It really would. It looks like I'm in a dark room with that. So, okay. By the way, I'm serious. I think that it it's working better. Like, I hear less echo. Right now, I feel like there's more behind me. I feel way less echo than the old setup. And it looks so much better than the old setup, right? I mean, come on. All right, let's, let's try these up there.
Does that look better with all blue? And I lined it all up so it all fits. You can really see the design, right? You can really see the design now because it's all blue, right? Mm. Can I replace the black tablecloth also with a white one so it'll show the lighting better? We could eventually. Like, I'm pretty sure I have another white one. If we wanted to have it real, all the color, because you're right, when we change the colors, you can see it through the white. You cannot see it through the black. You're correct. So if I had two white, but then again, it would look, everything would look the same, right? Like, everything would look samey if I did that. I don't know what you guys, dude, the blue. The, I got the blue, dude. All blue. I agree with you all guys. You guys are all saying you agree all bl all blue. Yeah, now the top two panels are black. Yeah, all blue is the way to go. That is sick. That looks so good. Now. I've already got the grid in place. So now, if I ever am looking in the white drops in price, I might get white. Because then we could alternate blue and white and have the panels fit and have the pattern connect. But also, it'll look different. But <clears throat> the white was just too expensive. The white was incredibly expensive. I wasn't going to, you know, have this person spend that much money just because it was white. It didn't even make sense that it was that much more expensive as it was, you know. All right. The best the wall has ever looked indeed. And all the, all the blemishes of the wall from over the years. The holes from my old love seat. All the holes from hanging things on here are all covered now. So now <laughs> so now you don't have to see any of those disgusting blemishes and things on the wall anymore, right? <clears throat> and this panel blocks the area where my light doesn't reach very well. So this panel is taking care of that. Now you don't see that kind of off-color spot anymore. So this is good, man. Yeah. <clears throat> very good. We're not going to change the, the, the setup right now. We're going to leave it as is the, cut, the the decorations. But very much next month, when I set up for September, I will factor this in. By the way, in, in September, I'm going to have this in my background. I found the Tesla lamp from Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear Rising Revengeance from back in the day. I found it and it still works. And it's amazing. It looks so sick. So this is going to be on in my background for the month of September. It's going to look like a mad scientist. <laughs> so I'll have to find, you know, what's the good spot for it and everything. But you're going to see it's going to wing, wing, constant electricity is going to be passing through it. It's going to be so neat. It's a Tesla lamp. It's the, it has the electricity that flows through it. Did you ever see that? You know, guys never saw these? Hold on. Maybe I can have the power adapter reach it and I can show you. Let's see if it reaches over here. I don't know if it will. Maybe I can get it to reach over here. Ready? That thing is awesome. <laughs> that looks amazing on camera. Are you kidding me? You see how cool that looks? And that'll be in the background, like on the side over here. You know, I'll have it plugged in over here. I have it plugged in at my PC right now because actually this power adapter is what I use to plug in my external hard drives. 
from the back of the day, and it powers them so I can upload videos for DSP Throwback. But dude, this is going to be insane in my background during the daytime, right? Now it doesn't change colors. It has two modes: Tesla and non-Tesla, which is just it glows blue. So you could have it on both modes. If someone complains, oh, it's distracting when you're playing games or something, I could put it on non-Tesla. But then for podcasts, I could turn it on Tesla. Amazing thing, dude. It's probably the coolest Tesla lamp ever. Have you ever seen one? <laughs> A giant electrified sword. So that's coming next month, okay? Jade says, my, color, my favorite color is blue. Icy blue background. And Jade, blue Tesla. Blue Tesla lamp. How cool, man, right? Very sweet. Yes, it moves when you touch it. That's how they work. All right, let's turn that off for now. That's, that's a little bit of a preview of next month's festivities, okay? Yeah. So, someone said, how many extra panels do I have? I had 16, and there's 12. So I have two blue. And two black left. Two blue, two black. And, uh... I'll put those into one box and save that one box in storage. Right now, I don't really have room. I don't have room for four more. Like, there's nowhere to put them. So, I wouldn't even put them on the wall right now. I mean, if anything, maybe here, I could put another blue right there. But it's cool to see the color on the wall. So, I don't really need it. Um, so, I will save them. And like I said, what I will look into is if the white ever goes on sale. Now, guys, I'm going to clean up and adjourn in just a little bit. If you guys enjoyed this hangout session, please support the stream in some way. Now would be your time to do so, all right? Let's hit 50 bucks in tips right now if you enjoyed. If you liked your time here, if you had a good time watching me do this, you like the content, you like the new look, please support the stream. Let's hit 50 bucks in tips right now. Seriously, let's just do it, all right? Let's get it done. I'm going to put this back into the box. Let's do it. Let's get a few tips. That Tesla lamp goes for $300. Does it really? I mean, it's a rare, it came collector's edition with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So, <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, Thin Club, no, there's absolutely nothing that could make this stream look like Review Tech Stream. You would have to, first of all, I'd have to gain about twice my own body weight. I'd have to eat edibles all day. I'd have to have my eyes going like this, like I'm, I'm perpetually falling asleep. Uh, you know, I have to watch other people make content instead of making my own. Uh, I could keep going on if you'd like me to. There's nothing that would ever make this stream look like Review Tech Stream. You could stop with that nonsense right now. Okay. All right. That's right. There's no chickens on my desk. There's no cucumbers to suck. And I'm not taking my shirt off anytime soon. So, you know, I'm not ever going to be a review tech stream. Mm. Yeah. All right. Tips have just come in. I'm serious. I received a $5 tip. Taxes for the king. Thank you very much to someone. A $5 tip. Giving their tithes and taxes to the king tonight. I appreciate that very much. The king appreciates your, your support of the, the kingdom. Here on DSP Gaming. You understand? Really. And then... I just received a $36 tip from an anonymous source. $36 tip from Anon. So with the $30 there, enjoy seeing me looking like Chun-Li. That gets us over our goal of 50 bucks to 47 no, 50, 57. Why can't I do math all of a sudden? No, 55. 
55 out of 100 right there. Look at that. And then, by the way, on top of that, I just received a $40 tip. Hello, Mr. Phil. I go by Red Dice, but my account on YouTube is set as Casper. I heard you got a new PC, and I recommend purchasing games via G2A before buying via Steam. You can activate the keys via Key Activate. I don't know anything about G2A. I've already bought a game on GOG because on GOG, I was able to get Fallout 4 and then immediately mod it, and that allowed me to... um to do Fallout London, which was nice to try out. I don't know if I'll go back to it anytime soon. Where would you like me to go? Would you Casper? You said your name's Casper on here? So that is the top tip of the night from Casper, and that gets us to $95 in tips just like that. All right, guys, let's make it a solid 100 I mean, we're at 95 I mean, it's $5 off, right? To hit the 100 just to hit that nice round goal for tonight. That would be great. I'm going to put on Gunner glasses for you guys because we hit the goal. Thank you. Cool. <clears throat> okay. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to put all the shit in one box. So I'm just going to save one box. I'm going to throw out all the others. All this other shit. 100 pieces of cardboard and shit in here. Jesus, can we do ice blue background tomorrow? Uh, maybe. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think. Tomorrow, we're doing... Today, tomorrow we're doing what we didn't get to do today. We're going to actually do a full stream of System Shock, and we're going to do Street Fighter tomorrow. Uh, today I had a purple background. I guess we could do Icy Blue tomorrow. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Remember, indeed, indeed, right now, Rich is crying and the detractors are seething. Understand that. But understand that I want you to support my content because you had a good time. Not because you want to see the detractors get pissed or Rich crying on stream eating edibles. I want you to support the content because you like it, okay? So I hope that you did. I hope that's why you just contributed. And I appreciate everyone that just did, okay? Did not work. Because it is true. You absolutely know they are right now. They're all flipping, flipping their shit. How dare Dark Side Phil get support? All he did was set up his background today. That's literally all he did. Well, guess what? Today, I set up my background all day long. And today was one of the most profitable days I've had in history. We hit $200 in tips earlier, tons of gifted memberships, tons of super chats. Tonight, we had good super chats, good memberships. And guess what? Two people just hit me. The first person just hit me $10. And said, here's a $10 for you from the UPS guy. Well, thank you very much from UPS guy for a $10 tip. And then I received a $5 tip from Ponage101. Thank you, Ponage101, for a $5 tip. Thank you so very much. Wow. And then I received... A $4.99 tip. Someone was trying to be a joker. It was Mozzie. Mozzie says, sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Had to do the $4.99. Well, because of that, you received the ultimate Raz of the night. Boop! How dare you, Mozzie? Now, go ahead and send that penny. Send that one penny because you missed it. You missed the $5. And then I received another $5 tip. $5 to make the detractors seethe, says somebody. All right? Wow. So now we're at 119. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to end the stream shortly, just a few minutes here. 
But we might as well just hit the 150. Look how close we are to hitting the 150 tonight. I mean, come on. Right? And again, whatever you do, do not contribute to make my detractors angry. And do not contribute at all to make Review Tech USA cry. Whatever you do, don't do that. All right? Contribute because you like the content. Do not contribute because those people will be very upset with you if you do. All right? They will be. But don't contribute for that. All right? Let's hit the 150 and have it be a good night. Let's have it be Phil's background setup day. Was one of the most successful supported stream days of all time. And he literally didn't have to play a game. He didn't have to make fun of other people. He didn't have to be a jerk. He didn't have to be a toxic asshole. He didn't have to steal other people's content. Literally, he was himself all day. And people like him so much that he actually hit his goals for the day. Because people like Dark Side Phil and don't like the losers of the fucking internet who are toxic shitbags, right? Right? Exactly. Isn't that amazing? I just received a ten dollar tip. Phil, how could I forget? The tax free King's tax has now been paid. FYI. I drive for work and listen to you while driving. I am grateful for you streaming. I am grateful for you watching and supporting. Thank you so much. For a ten dollar tip there <clears throat> right absolutely amazing thank you guys you know i apologize i wish i could have interacted with you guys all day but you saw i was kind of busy right but we got it done and now the setup's gonna look better than freaking ever moving forward so i just received a dollar tip question is your P ps5 laying flat if not, lay it flat. Mine decided to conk out and it doesn't play games anymore. It crashes on start. I tried to factory reset and it doesn't work anymore. Very upsetting. I do have mine laying on its side. On the stand that it came with. Properly. Because a lot of people don't even know how to put it on the stand properly. I actually have mine on the stand properly. Uh, that's actually how the PS5 is intended, by the way, to be sitting. Even though you can do it vertically, you're not... Actually, it's preferred to be on its side horizontally. And that's how I sit my PS5. <clears throat> so thank you for that. Now we're at 130. 20 to go for the goal. RP with a $3 super chat. Thank you, RP, very much. Vegokara. Oh, Vegakara with a two euro super chat. I love your background, Phil. Nice job. This now looks amazing. Thank you so much. I mean, look at the amount of improvements that I've done, right? This is insane, the amount of uh, improvements. And yes, Jade, he's saying, can I pick a blue or black or combo Honda tomorrow? I don't see why not. I think I can make that happen. Um... I seem to have lost a box. I have the a big one, a big one, a small one. Where the hell is the other one? There were four boxes. Where did the other box go? <laughs> I know I know there were four boxes because there were two big sets of blue and two smaller sets of, of black. I am genuinely confused where the box could have gone. It's nowhere in this room. There's a little one, a big one, a big one. Where's the other little one? What is going on? <laughs> uh... I have no idea. I genuinely don't know where it is. How is it even possible? Because I'm going to have to clean up in a minute. I have these empty boxes to put outside. This box has the remaining four pieces and all the hardware and stuff that I'm going to be saving. I have no idea where the last one is. All right, Jasper stole it? Maybe. I had to break down the giant box because Jasper kept trying to jump in it. It's so tall, I was afraid he was going to hurt himself. I already had to get rid of that giant box. Okay. All right, guys, I really am going to get out of here in a minute. So last chance if you want to make that goal happen. And again, do it just because you liked hanging out with me today, not because you want to make my horrendous, waste of life, terrible, horrible detractor seethe or make Rich from Review Tech cry. Okay. Okay. Um, this, this. I'm going to forge those guys. Huh. 
You know, maybe I already took it down. I, I'm thinking earlier, I took it downstairs and put it in the garage earlier. That's what I'm thinking. Where are the tools? Here's my screwdriver. Here is my hammer and my power drill. All those got to go back downstairs and be put away. I'm just trying. Oh, and all this too. The, 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 the level, which I didn't even need. And these self-boring screws. All this stuff has to go downstairs. So I'll put it right. Okay, I received a $10 Super Chat from Cantor. Thank you to Cantor for a $10 Super Chat. I appreciate that. And I received a $3 tip. Please dominate me financially, Philip. That's pretty disturbing, but I might just oblige. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for the $3 tip. We're at 133. All right, guys. So I really do have to get out of here because I got to clean up. I got to, but basically I have like drywall all over my desk. So I have to get some cleaner and clean the desk off. Um, I got to bring all this stuff downstairs. I got to bring these extra panels in the, like into a storage area. I got to bring these boxes to the garage because these are trash. Um, and then tomorrow we are back. All right with a real full day of gameplay streaming. I apologize to those who today were like, oh, I wish that, you know, I wish Phil would have done his, uh, would have done his stream fully. I, I agree with you. You know, this interrupted. It was like, I, if I don't get this done now, I don't know what I'm going to get done. We might as well just do it, right? So we got it done and it looks sweet. I could probably make it a little better. Like right here, it doesn't look even, right? I could probably just touch that a little bit, make it better. But the it, background is amazing, right? It's so good. But we were we oh yeah we were at this today. This is what we were doing today. We'll end we'll end with the correct color for tonight. Um. <clears throat> Cantor says, "My lord, shall it be shitting on rich of the Richard clan? Shit on the first of the Richards of the Review Tech USA's who do not review tech in the USA." Yes. No. Do not shit on Richard. Wait. Like I said, we already shat on Richard enough during that react on Sunday. These are, these are just little silly jokes. I'm literally not going to watch his content ever again. I'm not going to react to his content ever again. There's no point. I, I, I killed the guy so bad that there's just no reason to keep beating the dead horse. He's done. He's cooked. You know, it's like when you got the steak that's already completely charred, covered, burned, scorched, do you really need to take another flamethrower to it? You don't, you know? So I'm not going to bother with that crap. Um, <clears throat> I didn't even dust my lead. She says canter. <laughs> All right. Wow. I received a $5 tip. I, I mean, this is crazy. I'm about to get out of here, guys. I got a $5 tip from the UPS guy. A couple more bucks. Good night, DSP. I have a long trip to Nashville tomorrow. Have a good night. I listen to your podcast while working. It's very enjoyable. UPS guy, thank you. I really appreciate all of you tonight. Thank you all so very much. You guys are awesome. Really, you are. I mean, you guys literally stayed with me all day. And it took me all day. But we got the background done, and it looks amazing. That's what I mean. Like, it's it's... Do you think this would have been any fun doing it by myself? I would have been bored to tears doing this by myself. I've had so much fun doing it with you guys and talking and hanging out while we did it. That's what it's all about. That's why I like doing this stuff with you guys, right? All right, last chance for someone to throw in a final $12 King's Tax and just end the night on a high note, all right? That way, tomorrow, do these streams, do D will not make a video saying, well, you know, Phil just hung his background all day long. And yeah, he completely maxed out all of his goals throughout the day, except he was short by $12 at the last night. So we really stuck it to Phil because he didn't make that final $12. Ha, take that, Phil. <laughs> all right. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the setup. I really am. I had a ton of fun with it. Let me, uh, hold on. I want to get the Tesla lamp out of here because I'm afraid I'm going to kick it and break it. I mean, this thing's ancient, so it could definitely be uh, fragile. You know what I mean? So I got to get this out of here. Oh. My apologies for earlier when I took off my hat and vest to do that stuff. I'll toss the bender hat on. For the end of the stream here tonight for you guys, okay? Let me put the vest in the closet. 
But I'll put the hat, I'll put the Bender hat back on for you guys. There we go. We got derailed earlier. I adjusted the lighting to make it a little bit better. And now it is, actually. I can see it a little bit better here on that side. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Chili Cheese J with a $2 super chat paying my tax. And I thank you so much, Chili Cheese J. I appreciate that very much. And I received a $1 tip from... All right, this person just sent me a Steam key for Remnant 2. As much as I appreciate the sentiment, I am not going to use that. I have no desire to, to play Remnant 2. So I would say save the Steam key for yourself or give it to somebody else because I don't want to take and accept something I'm not going to use, okay? But thank you for the dollar tip. I appreciate that. I don't want to take it and waste it, so. Okay, all right, guys, I guess we're going to get out of here. I guess with the Kings... The king's coffers will not be stacked to the brim tonight. I try, right? But the king has been here all day. He's the king is tired. The king needs to retire for the day. Okay? Seriously. I, uh, I got, still got to bring all these boxes, my tools back down. I got to put these across the hallway. I still got to do the daily wrap. I got to upload all this. I got to upload five, no, six hours of this. I've been recording two, three-hour videos of this. So... <laughs> I have to get all that stuff uploading. All right. So, and I got a full day, obviously, tomorrow. So I do got to get out of here. And yes, the King moniker is back. I, but I just want to emphasize this. I am not the King of Hate. Not anymore. There's no reason for me to be King of Hate anymore. Right? I don't. I don't have to be. I can be the King of whatever I want. I can be the King of Gaming. I can be the King of setting up wall decorations. The King of, of the King's of Tithes, Taxes, right? The Dinkest Ron Paul. With a ten dollars super chat says long live the king. Thank you, Dank the Dankest Ron Paul. I appreciate that. <clears throat> oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a six dollar tip. We are so close. A six dollar tip. Now that you have a PC, can you play RTS games like Age of Empires three? It's free to play, and Starcraft two is now free. Uh, I've tried RTS games in the past. I did a full playthrough of Starcraft two back in the day. I think it was twenty ten. No one liked it. People thought that it was too slow-paced, boring. It just didn't work because usually I play most of the mainstream big releases. And even though that was a big release, it was more for a PC-only audience. And I played more of a widespread audience. So because of that, you see, um, <clears throat> people were... The King of Street Fighter? Jace is the King of Street Fighter. I could be the King of Street Fighter. I could be just the King of Fighters. Just could be the, I, Dark Side Phil is the King of Fighters. Right? I'm the King of Fighters, bro. King of... The king of chill. How about that? I'm the king of chill. You come over here, you're always going to have a chill time with DSP, right? I'm the king of chill, the king of fighters, the king of belting the detractor, day in and day out, winning, living my life to the fullest, while they are crying and seething in their parents' basements, completely soiled from the waist down because they don't get up to use the bathroom, smelling of feces and armpit sweat, their parents disowning them, locking them in said basement because of their own bodily uh, smell. You know? That's what happens, man. Anyway, <clears throat> I got a little distracted. Uh, wow, I received a $5 tip from someone who says goods. I received a $10.99 tip from Chappie. Good luck with pulling more Hogan's later tonight. Oh, you know it. You know. 
that after a hardworking day like today, I take no more pleasure in anything than sitting back, relaxing, getting a ginormous, huge handle of Tanger Age in. Okay, the whole thing, I chug it, I go, oh, 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 oh. You ever saw that Junkie the Crow that they used to have the cartoon? Just like that, I go, oh, 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 oh. I get completely sloshed. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. And I immediately jump into WWE Champions and I just start pulling for Hogan's. And I don't stop until I get at least three or four. So sometimes it's pretty bad, let me tell you. And that's the kind of night I'm going to have tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because you supported the king here on DSP Gaming. I really appreciate that. All right. I received a $12 tip. Are you kidding me? I guess I'll save the day, says this person. Oh, there was no need, for the day was already saved. All right? So now we are at actually 172 We are actually at $172 in tips. 2D, Memology, Tevin, they're all seething. They can't take it. They're looking at this. They're like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Who would support this man? Looks like some cool people, right? Looks like the taxes are coming in. Looks like someone's time has come to shut the fuck up, bitches. Thank you so much, everyone. I just got another $5 tip. Are you guys kidding me? Alex from Phoenix with a $5 tip. Does the king of love sound good to you? Have a good night. Thank you, Alex, for a night-ending $5 tip. Here's the truth. For all these years, my detractors tried to say that my followers were the hate army. And I said, no, I'm not about hate. That, it's a misnomer. I would never call my, my followers the hate army, right? You want to know who the hate army is? My detractors. I'm going to start calling them the hate army from now on. The detractors are the hate army. And they are crying right now. They are sad. They are, oh, Phil had a good day. But all he did was put on fucking soundproofing on his wall. His, it, look how good it looks now. And he got paid to do it? The hate army can't take it. They can't. They're sitting there in their little bunkers. They got little hats on. You ever saw those little army movies like General Patton? There's little hats on. They put on their little army hats and they have little flags. Go hate army, go. Let's hate on Dark Side Phil. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, that's what they do. They just sit there, little losers. What do they have to talk about today? Nothing. Because my fucking I have a soundproof FOMO. You can't even say anything. Right? Sit in your little bunkers and cry. Cry. But be sure to open a window so you don't drown in there. All right? Let the, let the tears out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <clears throat> I just received a $4 tip. From Super Stone Carl Turbo HD Remix. You really tell, tell your hat it's rude to stare. <laughs> Vendor, keep your eyes closed up there. I agree. It's very rude. Vendor is very a rude guy. He doesn't really care. Right? What's hilarious is someone in the chat just said... All you're doing is giving them fuel. I guess you don't get the joke, do you? Don't you get it? Don't you understand what this is all about? Really, do you not understand what this is all about? It's time to get payback for all the fucking years that these people caused me pain and suffering. Now is the time that I get karma on my side. Do you understand? It doesn't matter if they have content. I just had a great streaming day. I made all my, exceeded all my goals. I'm living life to the largest and fullest and having a great time and they're still little nobody bitches and it will never change until they realize that what they're doing is a waste of their own time clip the fuck out of this go ahead be sure to include the totals down here in your clip and you can choke on it okay <laughs> i just received a two dollar tip this is insane i can't get out of here Gabriel, $2 tip says your background is looking great. Thank you, Gabriel. I appreciate that, Gabriel. Thank you so very much, Gabriel. All right. Guys, we've done it. All right? We had a hell of a day. We had a hell of a day. We had a good day. Great podcast this morning, right? I'm going to actually try to clip right now. I'm going to try to clip that story about Mudahar. I think that's what people would want to see as a clip tonight. And amazing setup that I have now, right? Like, literally, the only thing left to do is to migrate my PC to my wife's. Everything else has been upgraded to this point, right? And uh, it's just been, it's been an amazing time. It's been an absolutely amazing day. I couldn't ask for anything more. By the way, 
John Nepper, 25 months as a member, said, hey, Phil, glad you got things set up. Me too. It took a long time. We had some issues. It's all good. It's working now. So the office couldn't look better. Everything's going good. Massive support. Great times had. The tractors felted. They hate Army crying, seething, shitting their fucking pants. Actually, I actually heard. Today I did so good that Doody is actually constipated. He can't shit. He's going to have to be taking some fucking Metamucil tonight, all right, in order to take a shit because he's so angry. He can't pop his turd, his namesake. He can't get out of himself because he's so fucking upset. That's too bad, man. All right. <clears throat> well, I do have to get out of here because, like I said, I do have to do a few extra things, and I got to set up that clip. I want to do that clip for you guys tonight if you missed the story earlier. Tomorrow I will return to full gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.